Welcome everybody. This is Troy Chambers. I'm going to be doing your week in review for August 28th through September 4th with the daily Binance Unify signals. First, the disclaimer. The following review is an independent re review that I do and the results may vary depending on your entry points and of course depending on your stop losses whether you use them or not and also whether you take advantage of take profit opportunities i am going to be taking the maximum amount of opportunities that i see happening in the market and uh, but it's totally up to you the number one thing i want you guys to be aware of is trading is risky do not use capital you can't afford to lose. Past results is in no way guaranteed of future performance. I'd like you to refer to your step-by-step -step Binance trading PDF for more detailed explanation of techniques being used in this video. So, like I said, this week we're doing is August 28th to September 4th, and it looks like that on the unified chart. Now, just to do a little bit of a recap before we get started on the 28th, on the 27th last week, we left in a buy situation at 67.13. Within an hour of that signal, she started going and going and going and going. And it was a nice run. And actually, we have a take profit opportunity right off the get-go. Now, I need to explain a few things. There are different options for taking profit. Option one is taking 3% profit and closing the trade out completely. But this is usually only done when it's going against the trend, okay? This is going with the trend. This trade is going against the trend. Going with the tra trend, that one be going against, okay? Option two is taking 50%. So taking half of your BTC or half of your USDT, depending on which one you're in, and have the rest remaining in the trade. Of course, moving your stops up on both as the system, uh, as the market goes up. Let's have a look at what this one is. Again, I because we're with the trend, it's going to be option two, which is the 50% take profit at 3% gain. And moving the stops up. With this one here, our take profit point would be 69.14, which is a range of 201. But because we're only taking 50% on one BTC, it would be $100. All of my um, amounts are going to be calculated as if we bought one BTC at the very beginning of the week. Uh, this trade, it came back down, came back up. Now we have 50% in USDT. When you go out of a trade, you still want to have a stop loss on that exit. So you need to decide where is this trade no longer valid, meaning we're took the 50% out of BTC thinking it could go down. We need to decide, okay, if it doesn't go down, if it goes up, where am I getting back in? You need to decide that. It could be at the previous highs here, or it could be at 2% or 3%. It's totally up to you. Personally, I would go off the highs because once it breaks the highs, it's going to keep going, usually. What happens here? The market does keep going. And we actually get another 3% gain for a total of 6% move. Our exit was 71.15. The range was 402. And because we still had 50% in, that's a profit of 201. So we had a profit of 201. And earlier we had a profit of 100. So a 301 gain. That is sweet. What happens on the 29th? We get a sell signal. The sell signal comes in at 7020. And there it is there on the chart. There it is on this chart. So we had some ups and downs, but it still caught it pretty high from 
this level here, our stops would be put in for the sell sale at 71.53 and 72.23 for a two and three percent stop loss. The buy, remember, was at 67.13. Our sell was 70.13. That gives us a profit of $300, which is a 4.46 gain. Nice. What do we got next? August 30th, we get a buy at 7,005. There it is there in the unified chart. And on the Binance chart, we get it right here. 69.91 is the best possible price at the time of the telegram. And stops would be put in at 68.51 and 67.81. There was our sell, there's the buy. But if you have a look, this move went down, 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 down. And this is actually a 3% take profit opportunity. Now remember, the trend is going up. So this take profit opportunity is against the trend. So we're gonna do option one, which is 3% close. We're gonna take all our USDT and we're gonna buy BTC. That buy price would be 68.09. Now you can do that by putting in a limit order or a market order. It all depends on where you are at the time this move is happening. Remember that our original take profit level was 71.15. So from 71.15 to 68.09, and the other half from 70.13 to 6.09 gives us a profit of $255, which allows us to buy 1.0373 BTC. So we've already gained BTC and it's only the second trade of the week. So the profits from the signal is still $22. Uh, still a winning trade. And I am happy with any winning trade. Next signal gonna be a sell September 1st at 5.02 a.m. for 70.69. There it is on the chart. There's on Binance. We determine the best possible price for this sell is gonna be 70.52. There it is there. 70.52, our stop loss is 71.93 and 72.63. There was the buy from Unify with if you did not take the take profit opportunity, you would have a gain of 0.87 or $61. If you took the take profit opportunity earlier at 68.09, you would have a gain of 7.43, a total of $506. Now, I need you guys to put on your thinking caps for a second. If I take seven, 1052 minus 6809, it does not equal this. So how am I getting this number? Well, remember we have 1.0373 Bitcoin we're selling at this price. That gives us a profit of 7,315. So this is how I get this total gain. Just wanted you guys to, in case there's some people out there that are really good at math and saying, hey, this does not equal this. What's going on? It's because I'm selling this amount of Bitcoin now. Next trade, going to be a buy. And it is on still September 1st, 11.02 a.m. for 71.96. And on the Binance chart, we got a price the best available is 71.93 there it is there so we got the sell and then we got the buy this is a losing trade because uh, we're buying higher so we've sold before meaning we're in usd now we have to take our usd money and we're buying it at a higher price that's okay it happens our stop losses still go in at 70.49 and 6977. Using 7,315 
of USD to buy the BTC at 71.93, we get a new balance in BTC of 1.069. Okay, that's a loss of 0 0.0204 BTC. The actual value of that BTC at that price um, is right there, 7,314. This is how we get that figure because we take that amount of BTC times 7193 right here. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the trade. Even though it was a losing trade, we're still well ahead of the market price. Next trade is September 3rd. And it's going to be a sell at 72.26 at 5.02 a.m. There it is on the unified chart. Best possible price for that one is 72.41. There it is there. And stop loss is placed at 73.70 and 74.42. Remember our buy was 71.93. So we are selling higher. So this is a winning trade. Uh, gains here is 2.36 for a gain of $170. So that is calculated by taking 1.0169 BTC times our sell price equals this amount of USDT that we now have, which is that gain there. Next signal is still September 3rd. At 5.02 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is 7,263. There it is on the Unify chart. And on the Binance chart, the best possible price for this is 72.56. And stop losses go in at 71.10 and 70.38. There it is there on the Binance chart. Now, this one resulted in a loss of 0 0.002 BTC. The new balance of BTC is 1.0147. Okay, we're going to do a summary. We got a total of six trades. Four of them are winners for a total value of $1,231. Got to like that. Losing trades, two of them for a total loss of 162 I like that ratio. The BNB fees, a total of in and out of the trades are 3547. I always use BNB to pay my fees so they do not affect my trading capital at all. I just buy my BNB at the beginning of the month and it gets used up as I trade. So profits is in dollars plus 15.9%. That is crazy. I like it. And total increase in our BTC, which is always important, is 0 0.0147. Let's uh, break this down a little bit more. For uh, Trade 1 equaled $300 in profit. Trade 2 equaled $255. Trade 3 equals $506 in gains. Trade 4 was the losing one. We lost $146. Trade five, we gained $170. And trade six, we lost $16. Total, with all the gains minus all the losses, equals $1,069. So that's our week in review, people. Uh, we ended here at the buy. And as you can see, the market did move up very nicely. So when the market moves up, what do we do? We move our stops up. So I'll be giving you information about where we probably got out next week. So I hope you enjoyed this week in review and happy trading, everyone. Bye-bye.